Good morning, everybody. Johnny B. Good here. Welcome to uh, Stratford, Texas. Today is Wednesday, October 8, 2014. Temperature here is 53 degrees. Local time is 8.41 Central Time, which is also Texas Time. We are currently traveling on Highway 54, Easterly Bound. So far I've only been driving for 19.7 miles for the day. We have a good full 11 hours, 14 hours, and uh, on hour 70 we have 48.37. We are down to 962 miles to Monroe, Wisconsin. The delivery date and time of schedule of this load is Friday at 5 a.m. First come, first serve. is going on out there today not a whole lot just keep on driving and keep on chugging This is already Oklahoma. I have no clue. Tom won't let me. Won't tell. Her, let me know. Nah, I'm sure this is Texas. According to Tom, we are to drive on this road for 297 miles and we are to uh, exit on the ramp for Interstate 235 North. wide open spaces out here you know I just <laughs> I just picture a, a guy out of uh, out of Brooklyn or Queens pick a guy that's never been out of New York City shoot him full of darts until he goes to uh, sleep Transport him all the way over here and drop him in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and then and then at least have hidden cameras all around him. That way when he wakes up <laughs> we can see all the reactions, right? I've always thought of doing that, I mean, you know, not literally, but I was just kind of curious. You take a guy anywhere around the world, shoot him with a dart, make him go to sleep, put him in a induced coma, um, do 
some haircut, dental work, uh, you know, and then uh, buy some really nice suit. Expensive shoes and a briefcase <laughs> and to top it all off you know put a handcuff on the briefcase and handcuffed it to his uh, right wrist put him in the middle of nowhere and uh, you know like a, a big dining table a big table in the middle of nowhere and he just wakes up and then there'll be cameras all the way around from a distance you know, and on and film this whole reaction thing like what <laughs> oh that would be cruel wouldn't it That would be cruel. And then on the briefcase, it'd be what? $20,000 or, or more. Now the question is, will he go to the cops and report the whole thing and lose his $20,000? <laughs> let's, let's make it $50,000. <laughs> Will he go to the cops and report that he's been abducted <laughs> and there's a $50,000 handcuff <laughs> and you do this a couple of times maybe I don't know I just remember the, the movie from uh, oh what's that movie uh Remember the movie uh, Romancing the Stone? What's his name? Uh, Kirk Douglas' son. Uh, something Douglas. I can't remember his first name for crying out loud. But anyway, that, the, that movie, the game, in that kind of an effect, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just pick up random people even even the homeless people from New York City you know the ones that are really ragged out of shape unshaven and uh, as I said put them in an induced coma fix them all up dental work haircut nice suit and you know Put a fifty thousand dollars on the briefcase. Oh, I tell you, I, I, I can just only imagine what kind of reaction they would have. I certainly would, if I was in their case. I certainly would freak out. <laughs> the minds of Johnny be good sorry about that <laughs> we'll catch you later oh boy good day